Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from AnyKit. This is the AnyKit Digital Otoscope Earscope Camera with Gyroscope built in. This is for checking your ears. If you have lots of problems with your ears, uh, this device will definitely help you to check out the inside of your ears. We're going to dig into it now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. They're going to give you some safety warnings here. This is an otoscope. You will be putting this in your ear, so you're going to want to read the safety warnings on this uh, just to be safe if you're going to be doing things like this. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Now, if we take a look at uh, the user manual for this uh, digital otoscope, they show you the two different kinds of attachments and how to attach them to the probe uh, to make sure that you're doing this uh, safely uh, and of course being uh, washed down with an alcohol solution after every use some of your uh, settings uh, and your button assignments and of course being able to take photos or videos with sound on this device as well uh, here are some of the technical data on this and I'll leave it up at this point in the video so if I miss anything you guys can come back and check it out at this point in the video now again, big on safety, they give you some alcohol prep pads here uh, and some cleaning supplies to clean uh, this because after every use, you're going to want to make sure that this is very clean uh, since this will be going inside your ear. So make sure that you do utilize those products. Now they do give you a charge cable here. It's a standard USB type A to USB type C to recharge the battery that's inside here. You're going to get uh, about four hours of continuous usage out of this per charge and it takes about three hours to charge from zero to 100%. You can plug this uh, part into any uh, laptop or PC's USB port, or you can use a uh, AC to USB adapter that you probably have from your uh, phone or tablet that you already have. You do get a probe and the main unit, but they also give us uh, two different types of tips here. They give you some speculums, and this is just for looking inside your ear. If you just want to look inside it uh, and get this, you put this on top, and what it does is it is uh, only going to allow the tip of the probe to go in a certain amount into your ear, protecting your ear uh, and your eardrum. You can see there we've got our lens and our six LEDs as well on the end of the probe. Now they also give us a second set here and this is for debris removal, uh, earwax removal tips. Uh, you've got them right here and you can see that this will just go over the actual uh, lens itself and you'll see it'll snap into place there and it's got four little notches on it this is a silicone tip that'll allow you to remove uh, something that may be caught in your ear or earwax or whatever and you'll see that you can slide this down in a couple different positions again uh, so that you can't put the probe in too far and damage your ear uh, so again you're going to want to make sure that that's on there when you're using it uh, but those are the two different types of tips that they give you here, uh, of course, uh, for either cleaning your ears or just looking inside them to examine them. Uh, overall, uh, you've got uh, plenty of ear tips here to use. Um, do make sure to clean them in between each use. Now let's take a look at the probe itself. It's a USB Type-C connection here, and it's got a pretty long cable to it too, so it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be right up on the main unit. You can see again, uh, you need to put the protective cover over the otoscope before use. Do not use it without the protective cover. Uh, and uh, that is pretty easy to get set up on the base unit. Now on the back of the base unit, they've got this little kickstand here. You can remove it if you want to. I have installed it here uh, so that it'll just sit up on my table and I don't have to actually uh, be holding it uh, when I'm using it. You do have a 4.5 inch HD uh, IPS display here and all of your buttons on the right hand side, navigation, okay, mode, settings, power, uh, light, and capturing photos and videos. 
at the top, you have a USB Type-C connection here, and this will slot in, and you'll know that it's in because it'll make an audible click. Uh, and that is how you get the probe attached. On the bottom, we've got this spot here where we can remove, and you've got your charge port, which is that USB Type-C for recharging the internal battery. And you also have a micro SD card slot that comes with a 32 gigabyte card already pre-installed. So you're not going to have to buy one of your own. Uh, th this card comes with your purchase. On the back, we also have a speaker and we also have a reset button uh, if you need to hard reset the device. So that's the unboxing. Uh, let's take a look at some of the settings and image quality. Okay, so holding down the power button will turn the system on and it boots up very quickly. Again, we've got a nice uh, IPS display here. Uh, we can uh, utilize the gyroscope when it's in the circular mode on the screen. There's a six axis gyroscope that will try to keep it uh, in line no matter which way you turn uh, it, it will keep my fingers, you can see it's trying to keep my fingers in the same direction there as we're turning the probe itself. This is very helpful to uh, keep you oriented when you're using things, uh, getting inside your ear uh, and making sure that you know what is what uh, and which direction you're going here. Uh, very nice to have a six axis gyroscope that really does work pretty well. You can see I can get a really a nice close up view of my finger and my fingerprint there if I want to snap a picture. I can always use the top button to do that. Uh, and I also have some LED control here. Uh, you've got a couple of levels of brightness and totally off as well. So we can adjust the LED lights and there are six of them around the HD camera itself. Uh, and if I do want to snap a picture, I can do that. So let's snap a couple pictures here. You'll see it'll just take a second. If I want to get uh, close up to my finger, I can do that. And we can take a uh, close up of my finger as well. Uh, just to give you an idea of quality, I'll show it on the screen as well. So as you can see, it can get very uh, high quality photos out of this, no problems whatsoever. Uh, using the mode buttons, I can switch uh, between a few different things here. I can go uh, to video on the upper left hand side, uh, and I can also go to playback. Now that's the picture I just showed you on screen, and you can see it's a nice picture. It's not a touch screen, so you can't zoom in on it. Uh, but again, the quality of the IPS display here, even though it's only 4.5 inches is very, very nice. Now, if we use the up and down arrows, we can do a few other things as well. You can see on the left, uh, left and right is going to be uh, for the up and down arrows. Uh, you're gonna see if we select the down arrow, we are now not in gyroscope mode. So if we're in a full screen mode here, if I turn this, the gyroscope is now disabled. If I hit the down arrow again, the gyroscope is enabled and we'll try to to uh, keep the probe at the right level uh, with that six axis gyroscope. So that's how you change the gyroscope there. Uh, and you can also do some other things in settings as well. We'll show you that real quickly. You can adjust your date and time, format your SD card. Uh, you can restore everything back to factory. You can select a different language if you don't want English. You can turn off and on the, belt, the microphone and the shutter sound if you want to. Uh, it does have a built in microphone. Uh, so when you are taking video, uh, you can uh, hear uh, you know any comments you're making or things like that. Adjusting your date and time is pretty simple as you can see here. So you've got all of that located in settings. Okay, so I've got the uh, safety speculum attached and what I'm going to do is go inside my eardrum. We're going to record this. Uh, so that we can uh, show you some of that as well. Uh, but let's go inside my ears here and take a look. Hopefully they're not too messy for you. And we'll get in and take a look at my eardrum. And there it is. Uh, there's my eardrum. Again, comes up really great on this HD display here. Uh, so you can see your entire eardrum. Uh, see if you have any uh, wax built up uh, that needs to be removed. Uh, or maybe, you know, you had an injury to your ear and you want to check and see if you have a perforated eardrum or anything like that. Or any other debris maybe that you need to remove uh, out of your ear. So you can see it works really well, and especially with the six-axis gyro. 
keeps everything level for me as I'm looking at it. And to me, that looks like a pretty healthy eardrum. Now we can turn this gyro off, but it makes things navigating a little bit more difficult. Uh, so I like to have it on. Uh, pressing the up arrow can also flip the image uh, when it's off. So if you are uh, interested in trying to get that angle, you can. But honestly, having this a gyroscope here just makes things 10 times easier when looking inside your ear. Uh, so really do appreciate the gyroscope that they have built in uh, to this unit. Okay, so that was some upscaled video that was captured directly to the device that I added there, just so that you could see uh, the type of uh, video that you'll get when you're natively recording on it. Uh, and this is perfect uh, for anybody that has problems with their ears uh, or gets a lot of earwax buildup and needs to clean their ears out. Uh, you can also uh, snap pictures as you saw and take video and send them off to your doctor uh, if you need to ask any questions questions. So there you go. That's my review of the AnyKit Digital Otoscope. Now there's a few things that I really like about this. The HD IPS display looks great. Uh, the fact that it has it all built into one unit means that I don't have to hook anything up to an app or wireless or anything. It just works and it works well uh, with that built-in HD IPS display. Everything looks good. I can capture high quality images and videos and send them off to my doctor if I need to. This is great for anybody that has ear problems or maybe you have problems with uh, wax building up in your ears and you need to remove them. Uh, you can do it with this kit. Uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed and I'm going to give it a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review and I'll check you guys out on the next one.